The life of a 28-year-old Nigerian, Obina Zeoke, hangs in the balance after being convicted for murder by a court in the United Kingdom. And here in Nigeria, his father, Chidoze Zeoke, is crying for help over what he calls a wrongful conviction by the British court after spending four years behind bars. Uchi Okuru reports. Obina Ezioke was 24 years old when he was arrested in the United Kingdom in 2016. But his father, Chie Dozie Ezioke, is hanging on to hope that one day his son would be set free. He was charged with double homicide for the murder of a woman and her nephew sometime in September 2015. After four courts were unable to convict him, a fifth eventually found him guilty. His father laments the failure of the British court to prove its case beyond reasonable doubt. My son's own, they were not able to prove that because they could not account for, they could not show the weapon that was used for this, for, 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 for the, for these murders. They were unable to put my son at the scene of the murder. And that was why the prosecution and the police now decided that the only way out was to make sure that the jury convicts is to intimidate and coerce the jury. After an unprecedented, to me like this, what is now, what, what, what UK, UK government, I don't know how they are going to defend this. I don't, I don't, I don't know how they are going to do it. That one, two, three, four juries could not agree to convict this my man and with no new evidence introduced a fifth one did does that make sense obina is due for sentencing by the british court on the 1st of october 2020 his 58 year old father makes a desperate appeal to the authorities in nigeria to intervene uh, i wrote i wrote to the uh, to the attorney general and to the Diaspora Commission uh, to, to intervene. But the way the systems are, if, there's, if you do not have anybody pushing things for you, it becomes more difficult. But um, I believe that as your establishment is kind enough to give me a, this platform, I believe they will hear, and I believe that they will do something. My son will be sentenced on the 1st of uh, October, and I hope that uh, they will be able to do something before then. For Chie Dozie Ezioke and his family, every second counts in the search for justice. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Hackett.